Blink of an eye. That's how your life can change. Cleanup from last weekend's flooding in Middle Tennessee is underway, but for some families, their lives will never be the same. Chris Hickson's two-year-old grandson was a victim of the floods. Rebecca Cardenas shares how the news has impacted his family and what he's doing to help others. Great people in this world. Chris Hickson has spent the week serving the needs of the Waverly community. Taking ice and food and cleaning supplies and stuff like that to the different areas. That Searching for the missing and delivering supplies. This community has been rocked. This is something that's not going to be fixed in months. It's going to be years. All while grieving a loss of his own. If their kids was in their arms one second and pulled away the next and out of control, nothing you could have done. Yesterday, his family got the news. His two-year-old grandson, Keelan, was among the dead. We hoped for the best, but prepared ourselves for the worst. There is no idea, nobody can fathom what that baby had to go through before his lights was out. Through it all. It was gone. It was in the blink of an eye. That's how your life can change. Hickson is focused on the needs of others. The biggest reason that why we came down here is to help. Their needs, he says, are met. Our family got it yesterday. Closure. We know he's in heaven now. Officials have now shifted their efforts from search and rescue to cleaning up after the flooding. An anonymous donor has paid for the funerals of the Waverly flood victims. 20 people were killed as a result of the floods. Two were seven month old twins, Ryan and Riley. Their parents and two other siblings survived. There will be a memorial tonight for the victims at the Waverly County Courthouse.